Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about promiscuity because it is everywhere. Promiscuous women have songs about them and movies and television shows. They are worshipped here and the majority of young girls and women of today want to be that promiscuous woman. Because this world is great at making wrong look right and desirable and living your life the right way, silly and foolish. So let's talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share the video, it's free. Promiscuity is a demonic spirit that attaches itself to females at a young age, and it defines who they are throughout their lifetime if they do not see it for what it is, evil and wicked. It is a prevailing tendency that must be rebuked and put away. But promiscuity has become normal and just a natural way to live your life for young girls, young women, and old women. Women will define their promiscuous actions as ordinary and innocent. But there was a time when the majority of people perceived promiscuity negatively, particularly when discussing the traits of a promiscuous woman. This wicked world tells women that they have the right to express themselves and explore their sexuality in various ways. But what they do not tell women is doing so can cost you your life. There was a time when for women, having multiple sex partners went against what they regarded as socially acceptable. We have become shameless women to the point where how we look and carry ourselves does not really matter because being a harlot has become a way of life for most women. A promiscuous woman is the same adulterous woman that the Bible speaks of. Such is the way of an adulterous woman, she eateth and wipeth her mouth, and saith, I have done no wickedness. A promiscuous woman usually dresses the part in deep cut blouses, tight and revealing clothing. She wears short dresses with high heels. She has no problem slipping on booty shorts or yoga pants. They are comfortable showing the world their body. They will put on loud makeup, long colorful weave and wigs with the tattoos and piercings anywhere and for some everywhere. She wears the long fake nails and the fake eyelashes. She is the absolute opposite of a virtuous woman. Most promiscuous women spend many hours and dollars maintaining their figure. Besides going to the gym, she might get cosmetic surgery. She would be a regular clubber and she might love to party. She must have great networking skills and every popular name in town might be familiar to her. It is not easy to deal with a promiscuous woman. They are usually pro-feminism. They will brag about their body count. They have no shame. The Bible says, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the creator of the heavens and the earth. Promiscuous women have no problem talking about sex with anyone and is quick to move on from relationships to relationship, from one man to another man. A promiscuous woman is the same whore that the Bible mentions. Or a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Promiscuous women gets upset when they are not getting paid attention to. She might come across as needy if she seeks approval through a constant nod, a touching of arms, a sly smile, or simply a constant acceptance of her bearing. A promiscuous woman flirts aggressively, she is the one who starts it. A promiscuous woman likes to secure attention. Through her clothes, makeup, and loudmouth she does not worry about what the world thinks of her. Even if she is out on a date, and notices a reasonably attractive man. A promiscuous woman will not hesitate to strike up a conversation. More so, her date might be familiar with and accustomed to this behavior. With a promiscuous woman, the word that comes to mind when she thinks of herself is outgoing and not something such as homely or virtuous. Promiscuous women are ready to go out at any time and doesn't like to stay home. A promiscuous woman does not shy away when a man aggressively flirts with her. She will not blush or turn away. She will come towards that man and she might take him to a corner and be aggressive with him. A promiscuous woman likes to break stereotypes. Her whoredom dictates to her how she should feel. She has no problem being cunning to get what she wants. She will fight, cuss or fuss to get her way. A promiscuous woman can be overwhelming to other people. Her priority is to get what she wants when she wants it. A promiscuous woman engages in explicit conversations. She shares pictures early on, hooks up on the first date, and doesn't care about her reputation. She is not ready for a deeper emotional connection. A promiscuous woman is demanding in the bedroom, and she is not easy to please. She will drive a man to exhaustion. She would possess toys and would encourage a man to use them. She might take her chances without protection. However, there might be a lack of emotional intimacy. If ever you try to interrogate her, take an interest in her personal life, or ask her about her previous relationships, she will put you on her guard. It might be the biggest turnoff for her. A promiscuous woman gets very defensive when someone she wants to sleep with wants to dig into her personal space. She distinguishes between personal and professional pleasure. She might not sleep with co-workers. She keeps the boundary clear. 
A promiscuous woman craves the attention of not just one man, but as many as she can secure. Hence, she won't want to make a relationship official until the man leaves her choiceless. A promiscuous woman might be guilty of cheating on her man at least once. If you admit to cheating but blames the guy, if you have a history of one-night stands and quickly moves on to the next guy without taking responsibility, a promiscuous woman might have called it a one-time thing. However, if given a chance to do it again, the stakes are so high that she won't mind. Even if she loves her man with all her heart, that Jezebel's spirit might get the better of her. A promiscuous woman won't mind the idea of an open relationship. Promiscuous women will cope with their feelings of shame, embarrassment, loss of self-respect, and their conscience troubling them. When they are alone and it becomes too heavy for some to bear because that demonic spirit of promiscuity brings more demons into their life. And they will turn to the spirits of alcohol and drugs, setting them up for the future development of a substance use disorder. Changing your promiscuous ways can be hard to do because it shows up everywhere on your family and friends, on television and movies. They praise this type of woman in their songs, but it can be done. You will have to change your friends that you have surrounded yourself with. Because you have more than likely encircled yourself with enablers, women with the same promiscuous behavior and character. Sisters, I know that some of you are not told, and you just don't know this, but a promiscuous woman is not just a whore that walks the street, or an only fan, or an escort, or a woman that works in a girly bar, or a woman that sails herself for money. A promiscuous woman is any woman that conducts herself like a harlot by having one-night stands, posting half-dressed or nude pictures online, or wears so-called sexy clothing. Women who wear bathing suits to the beach showing off her body is wicked and she is going off. But most people cannot see this, it is just normal and natural to them, because they have been brainwashed by this wicked world. A woman that continuously posts pictures of herself seeking attention. Provocative clothing is whoredom, showing off your body, going to clubs, women going to bars, those are actions of a promiscuous woman. This wicked world puts these type of women up on a high pedestal, they have our people following them. But these type of women are hell, and that is where they are headed unless they change their wicked ways. The creator of the heavens and the earth tells women that we are to be shamefaced. We women are the very ones that went off in the beginning. We brought sin to the men, and we are still doing it to this day. If all women closed their legs today and refused a man's attention until she was married to him, we could change the world. But that is wishful thinking. Most women will continue in their wickedness, it is already written. Only one-third will make it to heaven, and two-thirds will die in their sins. 90% of women's problems starts with whoredom. Sex out of marriage is the worst thing a woman can do. It brings demons into your life, what this world calls mental issues. It brings on low self-esteem, and it causes relationship problems and lack of respect by men for you. That is one of the reasons why women go around dressing nasty and vulgar. This is the curse of a promiscuous woman. She cannot hide who she is. The world knows her by the clothing that she wears, by the makeup that she wears, by the colored weaves and wigs that she wears, and by the swearing that comes out of her mouth. Drop the wickedness, find nice respectable dresses to wear, nothing tight. Distance yourself from women who project the promiscuous, or and harlot, and Jezebel lifestyle. You can change, it is not too late, but soon it will be. You can become that virtuous woman, and walk away from being that promiscuous wicked woman. So I hope you found this video helpful, if you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share the video. Until next time.